So what we're making today is a shrimp and shermoula sauce over a bed of couscous. So what you have here is some um, chicken stock. You can use plain water as well. And we're gonna pour in that couscous. Give it a good stir, just like Drew did. I'm gonna pop in some salt and then pop the cover in and turn it off. Forget about it. So now we're gonna move on to the shermoula sauce. It is this wonderful North African uh, herb sauce. You basically have everything, I promise you, in your pantry to make this. I'm gonna move that. So we have chopped cilantro and chopped parsley, a little bit of coriander, cumin, red chili flake, the pantry's just given us today, smoked paprika, hot paprika, and a little bit of salt. You can mix that all together. I love a Hungarian paprika And then too. we're gonna micro zest a little bit, one garlic, one garlic clove. Wow, that really zested super quickly. We're gonna pour in that olive oil, Drew. I'm gonna give this a mix. You got this, keep on mixing. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, ready? And this is really, this sauce, guys, is amazing. It's like punchy, it's verdant, it's like just really, really beautiful and it's dense. super, super addictive. So you're gonna mix that in. The addictive. last two things um, is your citrus, and we're gonna add that in a little bit. I only like to add my citrus to my shermoula right before when I'm gonna use it, basically. Is that because it'll like cook, ferment? It'll basically it start to discolor um, the, the sauce a little bit, and I really wanna make sure that it's as bright and beautiful as possible. So now we have a pan, about a tablespoon of olive oil. You got your peeled and deveined shrimp. And I am a good peeler and deveiner. If anybody needs that. You're so quick. Thank with you. Your, I your really peeling. pride myself. I mean, it's amazing. So give it I'm a like, shake. You need peeling and deveining? Give it to me. I'll give your it. shrimp a shake so that it's all on one layer. And then we're going to season it, Drew, with salt and a little bit of cracked back black pepper. And so just let that shrimp go. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, so this is kind of a specialty pantry item. It's called preserved lemon. If you don't have it, you can use regular lemon, but it's actually a really easy and fun uh, kitchen project to make. It's basically, you take a lemon, you put it in a jar, you put it in a salt solution, you make some slits, and the lemon basically starts to essentially um, pickle itself, which is really nice. Um, and then you can add it into all your sauces. We have it here in our shrimp. Um, it's wonderful in salads as well. And then Drew, right on cue, we're gonna flip that shrimp. Flip that shrimp. Flip that shrimp. And as you can see, it's I got starting to get that's really you a nice. Real hard pink. time. <laughs> that color is really good. Yeah, this color is perfect. It's, it smells really great, and you really don't want to overcook your shrimp. People don't like to overcook a shrimp. I don't mind. I like my I like my my fish and meat a little tough, yeah. or I like it raw. I'm an extremist. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, how long we have? All right, so that's three probably the, three more minutes. Oh, perfect. We've got plenty of time, ah! girl. <laughs> so shrimp is really great for when you're like doing a quick and easy dish. This sauce, we're gonna use it two ways. So we're only gonna put half in. Half! And the reason, Drew, so you can use it as a marinade for like fish and for meat, but the reason why I don't like to use it as a marinade for this is because I'm searing that shrimp and I don't want the herbs to burn, right? I wanna keep that vibrancy. Don't so let those herbs burn! <laughs> Drew, you should have water right beside you. Yes, I and do! So we're making a little bit of a pan sauce and I'm gonna pour that in. All the water? Let's do half of that water half. for now. <laughs> I, I really like this uh, this call and repeat thing. <laughs> it's kind of what we do in our own kitchen. <laughs> and you're basically gonna let that go and cook down. Two minutes. I'm gonna give it a quick taste. This really is Pilar and I in the kitchen. She's casual and I look nuts. <laughs> this is so true to our life. So maybe give your sauce a little bit of a quick taste, Drew. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice on there. Lemon right. juice in the shrimp? Add it. Just a little bit. Oh my God. All right. Okay, now we're plating Whoa, central. I was not expecting that I'm much. I'm gonna turn that Punch. off. So right at this point, Drew, the couscous. <laughs> Sorry, but like, wow. Wow in a good way? <laughs> yes. All right, so the couscous is all steamed and you're gonna fluff it with a fork. 
And the reason why I use, I like to use a fork is because then it doesn't mush things up. It yeah, doesn't don't crush use it. a spoon. Don't use a spoon. It will crush Look how the little tiny that is. balls. So beautiful. Um, and All one right. minute, nobody wants that. One minute left. We're plating up, Drew, ah! so you got this. Chill, it's nice, it's chill, it's easy. How you doing, Drew? You know what? I'm doing really good. Feeling good? Yeah, actually. And then basically, please do not forget all that beautiful sauce that you worked so hard on. You son of a. You got this. Yeah, huh? Ooh, okay, I'm doing like a thing where I'm getting the sauce all over the thing. And then, and then I'm gonna do my shrimp because I know it's gonna splatter everywhere and plating is a part of my important, like I, I take, Pride in my plating. I take a lot of pride in my plating. That looks beautiful. Oh my and, god, 50 seconds! Ah! And, and then don't forget to dollop your fresh shrimula. Yeah. Ooh. See, there's there's no one right way. 